Now, we know that hot water heating accounts for around a third of our energy bills, so maybe it's time to have a look if you're using more energy than you need to get the hot water that you want. And Hamish, you have brought an expert in to help us out. That's right. I love hot showers, uh, so I've brought in Jeff Peck from Pex Plumbing Plus, and uh, he's going to run us through all the different systems and options. Oh, it's lovely. Well, Jeff, thank you for coming in. It's always good when Hamish brings an expert in. No problem. We appreciate it. So what are the things that we need to think about when we're choosing a water heating system? How big your house is, uh, the number of people in the house, um, the locations of the bathrooms and kitchens to the actual hot water cylinder. Okay, so uh, there are a few things. Oh yes, yeah, there's plenty to think about. So what about like for a family of five who have like long hot showers, what do you think about for them? Um, family of five, you want to have a, either a good storage size cylinder or go to a gas system where preferably you're on natural gas so you don't have the problems of running out of uh, LPG. Yeah, and then having to use your barbecue your thing barbecue. to do it, which I've done before. Okay, yeah. okay, I get that one. Yeah, that's good okay. advice. There are a lot of systems, Jeff, that are available yeah. on the market. Can you give us just a quick rundown of what's available? Sure. Um, there's the electric hot water cylinder, gas instantaneous, gas storage hot water, uh, heat pumps and uh, solar water. That's a lot of systems. Mm. What are sort of some tips then that you have for us to save money on hot water? What's a good idea? Uh, flow restrictors on your hand pieces and your fixed shower roses are always good. What does that do? Uh, just reduces the amount of flow through the actual hand piece. So rather than using say 15 or even 20 litres a minute um, on the shower, you can get it down to 8 to 10. Okay, which, is, which is good if you've got kids that sort of sounds, go sounds to horrifying. run, the, to do the dishes, and all they do <laughs> is actually put the, the, the tap on and leave it running and don't actually put the plug in. Yes. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. Yes, okay. Uh, also, too, check for leaking taps. The laundry tap's one that uh, people tend to forget about. And if you're able to, uh, shorten your teenager's showering time. It saves a lot of money. Yeah, good luck. Can imagine, yeah, good luck with that good one. Good luck. <laughs> okay, uh, if you want to be uh, sort of ahead of the game, what's the latest technology you've got? What's the thing to do? Uh, the Renai Smart Cylinder would be the latest technology that's available. Um, it's a standard hot water cylinder. It has three modes, smart mode, vacation mode, and also manual mode. So essentially the smart mode has it where uh, it records and, and traces the amount of water and how you use your water over a period of a week. That could be a bad uh, thing. That could be a bad thing, especially for someone like you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but what it does is it then turns itself on and off to suit the household's requirements. So if you have a lot of water being used in the morning, um, but not during the day, it will, it will uh, turn itself down during the day and, and make sure it's ready to go first thing in the morning so or at that's night. So that's mm. going to save you quite a bit of money, I'd say. Oh, absolutely. About 10 to 15% okay. is the data. Well, there it is on, on screen. What's mm. that? Oh, that's before, okay. Your energy use, your... Whoa, okay. So it's very, very, very clever. So what is it? Can you talk me through this? So it's showing... Uh, in the morning, um, you've got the high usage, then, yep. then it turns itself down, as I said, during the day, and then it will start to ramp up. The, back in for the afternoon. So making sure that you've got good hot water capacity for in your, the evening. For your after gym shower and things. All that sort That's of thing. impressive, and I take it vacation mode is just that you can program it to turn off when you're away on holiday. Yeah, you turn it off, and then more importantly, when you get home, it's already turned itself back on to make sure that it's, you've got hot water, so when you get home, want to have that shower after the long drive from the batch or whatever, then it's good to go. Do you have to use it with your cell phone, like everything else? No, so that was my symbol for cell phone. Uh, no, no, no. Um, you you let it, it know you when you're yeah, coming yeah, back. Yeah, you let it know Got when you yeah. so you program it. I was getting point. excited. Huh? That's, like, that's like robots taking over the world. Almost. Except <laughs> your hot water. <laughs> Almost, except with your hot water. I'll be cooking your dinner next. Indeed. Um, so lastly, who do we get to install our new systems? You, you need to use a qualified plumber or gas fitter. Um, Reasons being, you don't have any insurance cover if there is an issue with with uh, the installation. Right. Um, a lot of people don't realise that. Mm. Um, but also, too, um, you can turn your hot water cylinder into a bomb uh, if if it's not installed correctly, which is a big one. So. It, it, Overlooked, but um, can can cause some serious right, damage. Which is why you need the professional to be installing it for you then. Yeah, absolutely. And also ask to see their licence as well. Uh, qualified plumbers and gas fitters have a practitioning licence, so okay. ask to see it. Okay. Uh, here's an example of when it goes wrong. Absolutely. <laughs> That's from a hot water cylinder. What wow. happened? Uh, what, what can happen is with the valving around it, it can stop the, uh, the expansion of water within the actual cylinder. So what happens is the pressure stays in the cylinder and isn't released. So that keeps building up and then it just has to go somewhere and it goes sideways. So. Oh my goodness, you are not mm. kidding when you say it turns into a bomb. That is quite yeah, terrifying. That's not a bad one. There's much worse than that. Yeah. Hey Jeff, thank you so much for coming in. No it's problem. It's been enlightening.
and Hamish as well. Always oh, a pleasure. Yeah. Now, for more details on any of the systems that we've talked about today, pop into one of Jeff's stores or go to his website, pex.co.nz.